and welcome to another Incarnate tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to put a roof on top of your battle maps with the new battle map 2.0 style. I'm going to teach you how to group your roof so that way all you have to do is just use the opacity slide bar to make your interior visible. Let's not waste any time, let's jump right in. First thing on the right, you're going to see objects and you're going to see I have a series of layers. I've made sure to group the exterior, interior, and the chimney. That's important because the chimney is the highest point where the roof is, so I'm gonna make sure that the shingling or the roof stamp pieces will be below the chimney. Place it, I'm gonna drag it, and you're gonna see that it is below the chimney. Now I'm gonna take all these pieces and go across on the long ways. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up putting these pieces together. Now I'm gonna show you a new feature called the transform tool. This is perfect for when you wanna stretch to get that extra couple pixels that you need for your roofs, your cliffs, or your walls. Now I'm gonna select all these pieces, copy, paste, and I'm gonna use the flip tool. And I'm gonna line these two sections up now we're going to want to put a roof on top of that storage silo, it's that circular section. And because it's a silo slash tower, it's going to be higher than the roof we already have. So we make sure that it's above it, a layer above. Now I'm going to show you guys the hamburger menu. In there you're going to be able to group and I want you to rename the group roofs. Uh, sometimes making roofs can be very complicated and can seem kind of tough. So there's going to be moments where you're going to have to finagle and experiment a little bit. But don't be shy. You Sometimes you surprise yourself when you explore a little bit. Now this may seem awkward at first, but once we add on some more elements, this will go together rather nicely. Now we have a lot of our pieces together. I'm going to make sure all the layers are correct. Now we're going to go ahead and add our ridge boards. That's going to be the apex of your roof. And we're also going to put one more. And we're also going to want to do the tower. First, let's go ahead and make our gable. Now we can go ahead and finish off the bridge, the ridge board on this tower slash silo. Next, we're going to go ahead and put our windows. Windows can be tricky, but I'm going to be showing you guys a neat trick with object shadows on how to make those roof parts pop out a little bit. First, let's go ahead and place where we want all these to be. Then I'm going to select all of them. And you're going to see shadow, and you're going to mess with the blur. And we're going to change the opacity a little bit. And then we're going to change the Y offsets, X and Y offsets. So it looks a little too dark. So let's maybe drop down the opacity a little bit more. Now we're going to want to make this roof look like it's overhanging the roof below it. So we're going to mess with the X and Y offsets. Shadow again looks a little dark. We're going to go ahead and fix that. Now, the rest of the roof can be tricky. I'm going to show you one way and I'll show you another way. The first way is to just use the object's shadows for all of your roof pieces. But this sometimes doesn't work. There are other methods. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to paint the shadow around the edges so that, that our roof or our building or structure is going to pop out from the background. As you can see, I'm painting around a little bit. And I'm going to end up making a little bit of a mistake, and I'll see why 
show you why painting doesn't always work. Sometimes it's a mix between painting and using object shadows. With this one, I found out that that shadow, when you remove the roof, that shadow remains, and we don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to use the object shadow for that circular section. And there you go. Just drop the opacity, and there is your roof. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to take this map and make it your own, you can go ahead and find the map URL below. Thank you so much for watching, and merry map making, world builders.